Today we're going to make this M54 engine roar up to 7,000 RPM. The car has a factory limit about uh, around 6,500, so we're going to modify that limit uh, up to 7,000. It's a, just a 7% uh, increase, but it's really annoying this uh, rev limiter when it kicks in at 6,500. It really makes you feel like you're going to, you, you have crashed into something. Uh, and uh, it's just 7% of the say, but it's 7% where it really matters. So today I will show you all details. I will show you basically how to be with this, how to connect to the ECU, the software that you need for that, the software that you need later on to modify the tables, the parameters that we're going to uh, modify, and of course, how to load that back into the ECU so the engine reacts in a completely, you know, not completely, but in a different way. Uh, of course, at the end, we will go for a test drive. So stay tuned and I will show you all uh, the details of the mod and the results after it. Okay, here I have a scheme of uh, what are we going to do with the car, with the software and etc. Because if I explain all this in the air, it is a little bit abstract. So I think it's much better and much uh, more understandable if I use this kind of scheme and you will see the actual steps as blocks. And here in the first block in this side, I have the car, which in this case is a BMW E46 uh, with this uh, M54 engine. Here I have an image of the engine, the ECU, so Siemens uh, MS43. And then uh, the uh, OBD port where we are going to connect our computer. And uh, uh, after we connect our computer to the um, uh, OBD port, uh, we're going to use uh, this piece of software called MS4X Flasher to communicate with the ECU mm -hmm. back and forth. Here we're going to extract the bin file from the ECU and then we're going to save that file and we're going to process it later with this uh, Tuner Pro software. This is a very powerful software, but uh, we're going to just change a few parameters. In this case, will be three. And then we're going to store that uh, file. We're going to save that bin file. And uh, we're going to take it back again with MS4X. And we're going to load it back into the ECU of the car. Uh, as long as this uh, a flow, this uh, workflow diagram is clear for you, all the rest will be clear as well. Okay, first things first, we're going to connect the OBD port to our DCAN cable. This is the one that I'm using. And uh, then we're going to connect it to a one USB port. So, here. And we go with the key to position two. So let, yeah. Mm. So at this point, I will change to the screen recording. And now we'll go here first. This piece of software, MS4X Flasher. I'll put the link in the description. And this one, I will use it to read, to extract the information from the ECU. And here, if you click in the top left corner, you will see that we have this uh, read binary option. So we're going, we go with that. And now we can say, um, we can choose a full read. It takes like four minutes. So now it's about to end. It's already reading the calibration section. And uh, remember, this is a full reading of the ECU. Now that you have your full reading, you're going, you will want to, to save that file because this is a file that we're going to process. And here you will go with the save binary. I will save it here in the desktop. You know, it's 
important thing here is to, to check that uh, the firmware is uh, 0069 because the, that's very important after when we are going to process this file. So we will call this one uh, sub delete because I have the sub deleted in this vehicle and I will save the file. Now we can we can close this this program. Okay, now it's time to process that bin file that we took from the ECU. And to do that, we're going to use Tuner Pro. And here we have a warning. It says file to open. Of course, we don't have a selected one. So let's proceed. And this is a very friendly software. I think that uh, it is quite easy to use, even for somebody like me. I'm not a professional in this field. Uh, it just has some few restrictions. And one important restriction here is to use the right XDF file. The XDF file is kind of a template-like uh, the structure where you're going to load your bin file. So. If you are working in my case, or I am working in my case with the firmware 0069, I have to use a bin file that is 0069, right? Here I have the 0069 with the sub delete. So I'm going to open that, uh, that file. And uh, here you see already the, all the tables are already. Uh, populated uh, so and now back to our case we're going to work mainly with the three tables and to one to modify the soft limiter another one for the hard limiter and the last one that that uh, even modifies the threshold for the soft limiter so the hard limiter kicks in uh, immediately mm, you know uh, if you remember the soft limiter is for uh, in those cases when you use slightly past uh, the threshold so it has some fuel cuts and uh, it is kind of as, it's, as the name says kind of soft way to, to to warn the driver that you are going over the limit and then the hard limiter is uh, to protect the engine basically you're going way too fast or with, with the engine speed and uh, here you cut uh, a fuel injection and also the ignition so let's go and uh, use this is uh, we can you can copy paste here and here you can use the control f function and here we have the tables uh, that we have to modify uh, so this one now the hard limit and the soft limiter thresholds here okay so these three tables relate uh, the gear and the rpm the max rpm in this case although this car is a six gear uh, vehicle it, it shows only five this is the, the ecu is it's not related or paired with the information uh, of the of the gearbox and here the zero gear is uh, uh, geared for those uh, intermediate states when for instance when you're shifting and the in, in the ECU doesn't know if you're passing between the second and third second or the down shifting or from third to second and so for those cases they have defined this zero gear right so but it's not that the tables are, are shifting in uh, now going ahead with the modification of the limit, I will go with a plus 400 in each field, each of the, of the first four. Um, the last two, I won't modify them because I, I don't think that I ever will go above these values in, the, in those high shifts. Uh, and uh, so let's go ahead. And here is, uh, is more 400, 6, 8, 96. 
7,000 lovely value for this engine, right? Okay, and uh, here we save them. And now we have to, we, we just save the tables, but now we have to save the actual bin file. So here we go, we go with the save bin as, and we are going to change here the name to plus uh, ref lim 7k and save this and now we can go and uh, upload this file back to the ECU using ms4x flasher okay now it's time uh, uh, to upload the file that we modified in uh, tuner pro so we're going to open once again the MS4X flusher, but now we're going to choose the write function. Mm -hmm. The write function, you can see it here when you, when you click in the, the top left corner, you see the write binary, you load your binary, and we have it somewhere in a new folder as, uh, here with the old um, files here. And this is new folder, and this is the bin that we want to uh, upload into the ECU. We're going to choose the partial write because the full write is necessary only when you make major changes like the firmware change or something like that. With the partial write, we should be fine at this point. This process should take like I don't know one two minutes max. It checks the verifies the checksums and it starts uh, the, the partial write. At the end of this process we have to take the key back to position 2, to position 0 sorry, and uh, then wait for 10 seconds and then go back to position 2. It will tell you the software is made for this so it will tell you anyway. Now it says to finalize the flashing procedure, turn the key off, wait 10 seconds. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, and we're going back again to position two. Now we have to verify that the car actually starts. We'll close this software and we we're going to start it beautiful. So now it is time for uh, for test drive. We have here perfect conditions to do this uh, 7,000 RPM test. The roads are dry. It's partially sunny. Saturday morning and not much traffic. So let's go for it. Here I have installed a GoPro, so you can you can see in detail the dashboard, and I will set this camera up here, so you can also enjoy the beautiful the beautiful landscape that we have here. Let's go for it. A GoPro start recording here. Okay, I have this additional um, safety rubber band because uh, this is not a very stable position. I don't want the, the camera to fall off. So let's see how this behaves after the modification that we made yesterday.
shifting at 7,000. I really love the sound and the, and the feeling. Uh, as I said, um, I don't like this uh, speed to have the engine permanently running at 7,000 RPM, but the fact that it helps you to make the shifts uh, uh, a little bit higher, uh, I really like it. I really like it. It makes it makes it gives the car some uh, a sportier feeling. I'm going to downshift now again. Second, let's go. Second gear. So important thing that is that we are making the test with the load and with the real situation. It's not like the cars that are making this modification and making the trial uh, in a garage with with the car in neutral. We are doing it in, in real condition, in real road. Uh, maybe stressing a, a little bit too much, but it's just for the test. It's, uh, uh, as I said, I don't drive uh, in that way, this way permanently. This is just uh, for the for some spirit driving, uh, or when I go when I take this car to the track. With this beautiful landscape in the background, I'm closing for today. You have seen all details about the modification from A to Z, uh, what you have to do, and also the uh, drive test at the end. You have seen the modification is simple, it's cheap, and it's very, very rewarding because you can immediately see the results of what you have modified on the, on the road. The car can handle it. It is not, the test that we made is not a test with the car uh, parked in the garage. This was a re kind of real condition, so uh, I see no risk to, to implement the modification as long as you use it, let's say, criteriously. So uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.